What was going through your mind as you were tumbling through the stratosphere? You step off, you do everything that you're supposed to, and everything went well, and now you're entering a section that you have never experienced before. Yeah? And nobody can tell you what to do because nobody has knowledge. Yeah? No scientist in the world knows what to do. So now you have 40 seconds to find out what to do. And you have to find that out while you're tumbling fast. Yeah? We had, we had, it, it ramped up really high. Sometimes it didn't feel like I'm getting unconscious, but it felt like I'm close. Uh, and now you know, OK, I'm tumbling now. This is a very serious situation. Um, I have no protocol for this. And now I have to find out how to stop myself with no experience before. And you have to do everything gentle because you're traveling at supersonic speed. So if you stick your arm out like this, it's going to be really violent and, and, and fatal. So you have to do everything slow and see if I move my arm to the right, does it get worse or better? Yeah? And at the same time, you know, hey, in, in 40 seconds, this is all over. So if you not manage this problem, you're not going to fly supersonic speed. So you're in this constant fight yeah, in your mind, like, do I have to protect myself and, and push that button to stay alive, or do I fight my way through and, and trying to break the speed of sound? And I made the right call. I was fighting my way through all the way down, and luckily I broke the speed of sound, and I was able, with my skydiving skills, to stop that spin. You could see it, you know, I was spinning really violent, but at a certain point, it stopped. I had it, and I never lost it again after that.